Hi guys, welcome back to SHK Excel World. I am Salim Heather. And in our previous video, we learned as to how we can apply field-based conditional formatting by defining a specific color in a separate column, and then using that to define or highlighting uh, an item within our set of data based on our criteria for our matrix table or a simple table, and that too for groups or subgroups within our data set. But while going through that video, I imagine that uh, is there a possibility to know all of the colors in text which are compatible with Power BI so that we can uh, define those colors in columns for applying the field-based conditional formatting. Secondly, uh, when you apply format on your items or values through the format option of Power BI, you can see that uh, those are the colors are in very little small tiny boxes so it is very difficult until unless you apply that color to your values or items you cannot imagine as to how your items or values will look like so can we have those colors on a dashboard very much visible to let us know as to how our items will look like and the third thing is that, is there a possibility to have a dynamic drop-down or let's say a dynamic table on our dashboard so that we can just click a specific color and that is applied to our matrix table through the conditional formatting. Because you see, in our previous video, we had hard-coded the light green color for conditional formatting which is not a very efficient way of doing things so it is very difficult to go through the DAX formulas and change your formulas and define specific colors over there so be with me but first if you are new to SHK Excel world do not forget to subscribe to it and also click the bell icon and give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends if you like it so guys the first thing was to find the list of colors because I always wanted to know that instead of just typing red, blue, green, I should know the different shades of color. So this was a task when I started exploring different sites. I stumbled upon a site which is CSS Colors. The site is basically W3 Schools. So it has complete list of colors. And uh, what I had to do, this was not in the form of a table. So I had to copy and paste it into Excel file, then uh, separate the codes and the colors name, and then define another column, uh, which will later on help us in defining the font color. You do not have to do all of this exercise. If you do want to do all of it again, uh, I have given the link to that website in description below. I have given the link to Excel file in the description below. You can just download that file and start right away with me. So what you have to do is just open a blank Power BI file, which I am going to do now. So now you just have to find the Excel file and upload the data into Power BI. So this is a file list of colors. So here is a list of colors. Don't worry about the third column, which is font color. I will later on tell you as to why I have created this, but this will help you a lot. Just uh, check this. So just click load because we are not going to uh, apply any power query steps on it. It is straightforward. So we have our table into Power BI. Let us see the table. So this is a simple table. We have the color name. This was the most important thing because I wouldn't have imagined as to how am I going to define a different shade of red or blue. So this tells you. But until unless we see as to which color it is, we won't be able to know by just uh, reading the text. So we'll have to go to the dashboard and then create a table. Just click on the color and 
and uh, we have the list of color and just do one modification just increase the size of these items go to visualization go to format and then go to values and now increase the size so i'm just doing this because when i define a conditional format uh, i can easily see as to how my data will look like so now is the time is a fun moment where i'm going to go to the conditional formatting option and then it is a color and click on the background color and there you have it we have the list uh, of options select the field value and then we are going to choose you can choose the code or you can choose the color and then press ok and there you go now you can easily see as to which color is what so these are not small tiny little boxes and you have the text within that as well so isn't it interesting so we have list of all of the colors so let's see how many colors are these just have this uh, card and click on the color and uh, let us count this so these are 145 colors available for you you can apply conditional formatting to any of your data or values so now the thing is that uh, we need to have a drop down yes we can have uh, the drop down we need to have a set of data where we can apply the condition formatting for simplicity i am just going to uh, take a simple table which was used in our previous video but that was divided into lots so at the moment we only have a data for one lot so again we are going to click excel and then click conditional formatting and then click on the tv purchases you can see that we only have data for one lot this is just for simplicity you can later on apply the same process or method to uh, more complex situations like uh, we did in our previous video if you haven't seen my previous video you can uh, check the link in description or in the i button above just load the data And you will see that both of these tables are not interlinked but still we can use the color for applying condition formatting to a table which is not linked to it so in this table we are going to create a ranking of uh, different product prices so create a new column and this is you may say it as product rank equal to we are going to use the rank x formula which we used earlier and the table is tv purchases and expression is that the price so we want to know as to which price is the maximum that should be ranked one so tv price is equal to max price So in this way you will see that there is one winner and all of the other are in the second place. So you may change this into a simple rank formula in which there is uh, a ranking from 1, 2, 3 and onward. So now we are going to create a Meyer which will pick up the highest ranking product and change its color. So click on new Meyer. So for some specific purpose, I'm going to define this as 
conditional format background so you can uh, so you know that we can change the background of the cell in a table or matrix table and we can also change the font color so this is for the background color equal to so we are going to use the switch formula and uh, the field in which we want to find a specific value is basically the product rank but because we are using a Meyer, we will have to use max or main formula so max product rank so it doesn't matter whether you use max or min formula we want to find the highest ranking which is a one and we want to define a color so we can define a specific color let us define one color which is light green which we used in our previous video and press enter so first see if it is working or not so let us create a table having the product you can have the product category and then we have the price so we have these three items and the wire we have just created is the this one so we can easily see that in front of the highest price it has produced the color but this is what we want it to be dynamic so now we are going to modify this mayor and instead of hard coding the color now we'll say that just give us the selected value from table 1 and which is basically the color and let's see if, if it works or not press enter and let us choose one so we have chosen golden rod color and it is appearing in our table now we just have to use this Meyer as field for our conditional formatting so let us go to format click conditional formatting let us define the product category and click background choose field and for this one we are going to choose conditional format background and press ok and let us choose one color and yes it is being applied on it so another way of doing thing is that uh, we can have a drop down filter click on the filter click the color list and change this into a drop down move it upside so that it can be placed on a dashboard and now we can choose a color and it's working properly so in the same manner we can apply this condition formatting to all of the values so that the complete uh, the complete record is highlighted uh, let us do this quickly go to condition formatting then select product click background field background color press ok then select the price again background color click advance then click field value then select the color and press ok and we can now remove the field because the condition formatting is not dependent as to whether the field is currently within the table or not so now the problem here is that if we select a dark color let us say that we select black so you can see that uh, the font color is also black we, we are not able to read the text so for this very purpose I had defined a separate column which defines a separate color for 
a lighter background and a different color for a darker background. So for this very purpose, we'll have to define another measure and apply that as condition formatting. Uh, let us see how. Go to the measure, just copy the complete formula, click new measure. Now paste it, change the name to conditional format font, switch, everything will remain the same except that we will have to now instead of the color we will have to choose the font color selected one so if the selected is a different font color a white font color then uh, the highlighted item will have a white font color and dressed will have black one and vice versa and then press enter now we'll go Select the table and go to conditional formatting and now click the font colors and again choose the field value. Now choose the new measure which we have just created which is condition format font and press OK. And you can see the category name now. Uh, just do this for the other two items as well. Click product, click this one. Choose field, now choose the font and press OK and select the third one. So you can do the same for the colors as well. Colors table, you can click the colors table, go to condition formatting and now click the font color and choose field value. And here you just choose because this is the complete list of color. You can easily choose a font color and press OK. And now you can see that uh, for even the darkest of the backgrounds, you can read the text. You can change if you uh, want to change like uh, for, for dark green color, we can have a white text. This is very simple. Just go to your list and search for dark green there it is and we can change this to white press ctrl s go back to your power bi file and click refresh and you will see that the dark green will also have a white text so there you have it you can easily read the text in the dark green background as well. So this is how we have achieved everything. We have a dynamic and complete list of all the colors available and we can easily see as to how our data is going to look like. You can easily apply this to any of your uh, dashboards and this is really fun. You can do this from the drop down or you can scroll through the list of all the colors and just click the color of your liking and that will be applied. So I hope you have liked this video. If you do like this one, then do share this with all of your friends and fellows who are using Power BI. And these are just simple tips and tricks which will help you in creating the best of the dashboards ever. So this Power BI file is also available for downloading if you want to download. Thanks for watching.